All right, so for question number four, we have to find the number of the terms of this AP that must be taken to given a sum of 636. So for this AP, first term is 9, and the common difference is 17 minus 9 is equal to 8, and this is the sum. So sum of, we don't know the term, so it's sum of n, first n terms, and sum of n terms is First n terms is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d, that is 636. And if you put in the values of a and d, so a is 9, so 2 into 9 plus n minus 1. So n minus 1 and d is 8, it's 636. Okay, now n by 2 into 9, 2 is 18. It's 8n minus 8. If you open the bracket, 636. So this is n, and if we take 2 to the other side, so if we shift 2 to this side, and this is now n by 2 into 18 minus 8 is 10 plus 8n, that is equal to 636. So It's 8n. Okay, so if you multiply this, it's 10n plus 8n squared is equal to 636 into 2. So 636 into 2, 6 to the 12 to the 6, 7, 6 to the 12, it's 1272. And now our set of equation is 8n square plus 10n minus 1 to 72 is equal to 0. Let's try to see if we can get something common here. So the common is 2. It's 4n square plus 5n minus 6. So this 6 is equal to 0. Shifting 2 to this side is 0 by 2, which is equal to 0. So our quadratic equation is 4n square plus 5n minus 6. So this 6. And we know how to solve the quadratic equation here. A is 4, B is 5, and C is minus 636. So A into C gives 4 into minus 636, which is equal to 636 into 4 is 624, 4 is 12, 13, 14, 24, and it's 254. It's negative 2544. So we have to find the factors of 2544 for which their sum or difference is 5. So let's try to factorize it and see if we can get those factors or not. So it's 2544 and if we divide it by 2, it's 2 on the 2, 2 to the 4, 7 the 14, 2, 2, 6 the 12, 3, 6 and it's 2, 3, 1, 8. So 2, 1, 5, and 9, it's 3, 5, and 53. So if you multiply this, 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 2 to the 16, 3 to the 48. So this gives us 48 and it's 53, and 53 minus 48 is 5. So we have our factors 53 and 48. You can also solve this using the quadratic formula if you want but i'm going to solve it using the factorization method so this is how i factorized it and got the factors so 53 so because this one this is the middle term and it has a positive sign so i will put positive for the uh the larger one and the negative in the smaller one so 53 into now 53 into minus 48 is minus 2544 and 53 minus 48 gives me 5 which is the middle term so these are my factors and let me just raise this okay so i'm going to split this middle term into these two factors so 4n square plus 53n minus 48 and minus 636 is equal to 0 so for these the common is n and this gives me 4n plus 53 and for these, the common is minus, uh, it's 12, it's 12, so it's 4n and plus because I have minus outside, so 12 and it's 53. 
So and this is 53 because 53 into 12 is 636. So 2, 3, 6, 5, 2, 10, and 53, which is 636. Okay, so now 4n plus 53 is common. So 4n plus 53 is common. Here I am left with n, and this one is negative 12. So now either of this should be 0. So 4n plus 53 is 0, or n is 12. If this is 0, which gives us n as negative 53 by 2, which is rejected as n cannot be negative. So our value of n is 12. So <clears throat> this also our question number 4. Thank you for watching.